Good evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here with some more Hearthstone Brawl. I missed the last couple of weeks, but I'm really glad I didn't miss this week because I think this is my favorite Hearthstone Brawl of all time. This is a really cool one. Blizzard really went out of their way to make a fun one this week. And I think they hit it out of the park. So let's go ahead and uh, fire one up here. This brawl is cooperative. You and your opponent have to work together to defeat Mechazod. One of you is a priest and one of you is a paladin. Now, I haven't played this that much, but my understanding is the priest is more of a support character. He's, like, trying to help the paladin. Uh, and the paladin's more of the damage dealer with things like Blessing of Kings and um, uh, Holy Champion, the one that doubles the minion's attack. So what we really want to look for um, are obviously some early plays but also some things to help the opponent out. Uh, I'm not sure I want to keep the summoner. I guess I will, just to have something to put on the board. This is, I don't know, this is one of the weaker cards from what I can tell, just because uh, this guy, and the, the one time I played, he really hits hard. Um, basically, every turn he plays a, a spell, and I don't know if this is random or what, but... One of the spells is Overclock, which permanently boosts his attack, and then he has spells that cause him to deal attack damage to um, either both of the heroes or to random targets. So once this guy's attack gets up to like 8 or something, it starts to get pretty friggin' ridiculous. Right now, dealing 4 damage to us both is already kind of frustrating, but once it gets up to like 6 or 8, it gets bad. So, um, you really do need to uh, choose your cards carefully. Because he can kill you surprising surprising quickness. I think last time I played I died in like turn six or something. It's still you still get a pack even if you lose. So just you know, run in there and play the brawl once, you won't be disappointed. Alright, so um as long as my summoner survives here, which it looks like it did, I can either play this guy or I can play the loot hoarder and the other summoner. I think I'm actually gonna just go for both of these. And I'm not going to throw the summoner away. Generally, you want to get the damage in while the damage is good, but two damage is just not a big enough deal. Um, I think I want to keep this benefit around because it can let me get like a light wall out, which not only soaks up some damage perhaps, but provides me some much needed healing. What's cool is that a lot of the, the decks are filled with cards that normally benefit your opponent and are therefore bad. But in this brawl, they're actually good. Like if this thing dies, then I draw a card, which helps both of us kill this thing. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do here is just keep it kind of simple. Let's Light of the Naru my friend and Light of the Naru myself. Because you can't just go full support. You really do need to like help yourself as well as helping your opponent. I'll go for a free light well here. I'm going to keep the pine size summoners around. I'm not exactly sure how this AI works, but I know some of its things are like deal damage to random targets instead of the opponent. Assassinate's pretty much the best thing ever because it only kills one minion, which is not nearly as bad as his other stuff, which like deals his attack damage up to three random targets, which is kind of insane, or just, you know, dealing damage to both players. Uh, this is pretty cool, so we can start passing our good spells back and forth. I actually did not know that was in the Paladin deck, so that's good to know. And he's protecting the Cho, very nice. Unfortunately, I don't have any spells to play. I wish I could tell my opponent this. Leroy Jenkins, that's nifty. Uh, I think that is actually worth playing. He's afraid of these Light Wardens. Good to know. Because that gives the opponent a couple of 1-1s. I don't have any spells to play here. See, if I play Leroy, I can't play anything else. If I play this, I can still play Dancing Swords. I think it's actually better to go for quantity over quality here and these pine size summoners the damage is just not that relevant <laughs> wow uh that is hilarious <laughs> i hope my opponent understands that uh i'm threatening mechazod not him wow that's kind of, that's really cool they they because they, they obviously blizzard put lorewalker cho into the deck and then they gave this guy a spell to kill him which is kind of amusing does, does this trigger twice now i think it does yeah because two things got healed and tragically, I don't get a Blessing of Might. I wonder why he buffed my swords. Yeah, deal attack damage up to three item targets. That hurts a lot when his attack damage is six. Well, it's all good here. So, I think 
because of this thing of dealing damage to random targets, it's worth it to just cash out your guys. In fact, this is actually extra nice. I can keep them around. Whenever your opponent casts a spell, oh, that's pretty cool. So let's whack him. There's no point healing him because he's just going to die anyway. There's no point not attacking with this because um, it might die to the, the barrels. And I think I could heal my opponent to buff this up some more. But I really just need to get some cards out here. I'm going to go for Leroy just because it's the most mana effective. This has some synergy, obviously. Wait, does does this trigger off of Mechazod? Like, do Mechazod's things trigger my Trog? I actually don't know if they do or not. Because obviously if they did, I would I would have wanted to play that. Because that would have been good. But if they don't, then it's just as well that I didn't play it. Because the damage here isn't that significant. I don't know. Maybe I should have played this to get the damage buffs off of Blessing of bite and so forth. Anyway, this is going much better than my last one. My last one, I was already dead at this time. Here, my opponent and I, my friend and I, excuse me, both have above 20 health. Played an assassinate. Unfortunately, that saves him 9 damage, but there's still 6 damage coming here, so that's not the end of the world. I'm getting healed up. This light well was a pretty good draw. Uh, zombie Chow is cute. I'm gonna play the Trog, though. Let's just find out if that'll give me a free 3-5 off of these double zaps. Yeah, now that he's dealing 8 damage to both players, things are pretty critical. No, this does not trigger off of Mechazod. It only triggers off of the actual player. Zombie Chow is a really good card here because it heals for 5 when it inevitably dies to barrels or just suiciding into the mech. You kind of have to play a fine balance between just throwing things at him to deal damage to him before they get killed by his barrels or keeping them around to incite him to use the barrels and reduce the odds that the barrels hit the face. So to be clear, the way the barrels work is it's deal your attack damage to up to three random targets, which is um, po it's possible to still have your face get hit by that, but at least having minions on the table increases the odds that your face won't get hit. Then again, of course, if the, if the minions die then you have no way of dealing damage to him. Okay, so here my opponent and I actually would have probably not minded getting hit rather than having our creatures die. Cold Light Oracle is a cute card. Obviously it's just all upside since we both need cards. King Mukla is interesting. I think I'm gonna hang on to him. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. I should have really hung on to him to use with the Trog. Okay, so you got an overclock, which doesn't do anything at the moment, but it does mean that he'll kill us in a couple of hits if we don't get him down soon. It's not an easy fight. I mean, we've chewed through a little over half of his health, but now he's just a couple of attacks away from killing us both. My opponent has a lot of self-healing, which is good. It's not selfish to self-heal. I mean, both of you need to survive. If either one of you dies, the fight's over. And it also pulled the assassinate, which is good. Let's go ahead and just unload here. And since I have more health, I think it makes sense for me to heal myself. I'm not going to suicide my creatures yet, because... Okay, I'll, I'll suicide the oracle, but I don't want to suicide the chow right now, since some of the healing would be wasted. And I don't want to suicide this, because there's a chance he'll play some spells. I mean, he's got bananas at the very least. So we can buff this up, and if it doesn't die to a barrel, it deals some pretty good damage to the mech. Alright, I am completely out of juice. I've managed to play everything I have, so um, hopefully the opponent can drop some more Dancing Swords, or maybe he has some Oracles, or some way of giving me cards. Ice Howl! Wow, a solid card here. Unfortunately, the Ice Howl does die. The guy overclocked enough, but still 10 damage is a big chunk of damage. Ah, my Trog died before he could play any bananas. That is really too bad. At least I heal up with Lightwell, and my opponent heals up with the Chow, so we can both take a couple more hits. Ah, the Beast, that is actually all upside, because then my opponent gets a 3-3. Three, three. And, um, I'll relish my support roll here and heal up my ally. Okay, Overclock's a bit scary, so now in two more attacks, my ally will die. 
So if he either has two barrels thrown at him, or um, just if the guy uses his attack both players' ability. I don't know if he chooses the abilities at random. I feel like it must be random, because if he were smart, he would just do the... He would just, like, go up to 10 and just, like, you know, deal damage to both players every time. Alright, so he's putting all the eggs in one basket. That's actually not the best banana usage. Oh, wow, he's going all out. Because if a barrel gets thrown at this thing, I'm going to be... Oh, my God! He actually gave Divine Shield. That's really smart. So now if a barrel gets thrown at it... Oh, no! He is the assassinator! No! Well, that would have been just about lethal there. But yeah, I guess he really just put too many eggs in one basket. Alright, well, Colette Oracle is an amazing top deck here because we both could... Well, he doesn't need cards, but I could use some cards. Fugan, I wonder if the other one is here as well. Interesting. Um, really, this guy actually hits harder than Fugan does. And I'm not going to throw the Chow away just yet. That one point of healing might matter, so I might as well just keep the Chow out here. Okay, so we each take it for 12 to the face. Two more of that, and the game will be over. I don't think we can. I don't think I have enough healing to heal us both above 24. Well, maybe I do. I don't know. He's up to 19 with the Chow. It's close. Oh man, that Seal of Champions should have been put on a different top, uh, on a different target, so that he couldn't use an assassinate. I don't know if it's random. Like maybe you know, on a different day he had an assassin. He wouldn't have picked the assassinate card there. Or if there's some intelligence, like, hmm, if there's a big minion that's going to kill you, use Assassinate. But, um, now he's spreading out the love. That's smart. Unfortunately, if he does the barrel attack, this thing will die. Oh, he just threw the beast away. All right, so his Fiola gets killed. I mean, at least we're not taking damage. All right, so now I can use the Chow without it being wasted. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Light Wall. That's actually really helpful. I might get us above the point of, um... Dying after two more attacks. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna cash out my holy champion here. I think it makes sense right now. It's not quite half of his health, but it's close. And I'm actually gonna cash out my oracle. So if he deals damage to us both, then we'll die on the following turn. Luckily, he didn't choose to do that. Assassinate was a pretty weak move there. So now he's got free spells. I don't know how much that's going to help him. Maybe he's got like a lay on hands in there. That would be good. Millhouse. Pretty pretty cool that all these like negative battle cry minions are used to cool effect in this brawl. Alright, he heals me, which it's we're both at the same amount of health, so that makes sense. Doesn't really matter who he heals. And then he gets a 5-7, which I'm surprised he hasn't had that many minions. Oh right, it was only while it was in the hand. Alright, he gets a free Blessing of Kings, so that's kind of setting up for an assassinate. I would have put the Blessing of Kings on this guy to kind of spread the love a little bit but Mechazard is almost dead as long as he doesn't throw his barrels here or as long as some of the barrels hit us we can be okay here ah and now we can actually survive two attacks from him please don't put all your eggs in one basket nope he put them all in one basket wow this guy does not learn from his mistakes Yep, I think there's some intelligence to it I think he's like oh well this thing has 18 attack let me go ahead and kill it if he had put like a blessing or that that champion on Fugan, we would have been in better shape. That's a pretty good top deck. So let's heal both of us, and I'm gonna cash Fugan out. We just need to tickle this guy to death. All right, so we can survive one more attack. I mean, we've got he's got four damage. I've got two. Uh oh, we could actually be in trouble here because if he um, we could actually end up with this guy being at one health and then just double tapping us. Because, I don't, again, we'd have to both be at t above 24 to survive. Now, I'm going to be at 20. Uh, I think that was actually a mistake. I think he should have healed himself with that because the light well now is overhealing me. Shoot. If this guy does the double attack thing, I can't heal my opponent enough. Okay, he chose to assassinate, which stops some heals from happening. All right. Um... I can't heal my opponent up to the point where two attacks uh, won't kill him, but I'll try. So if this guy does a double tap now, okay, good. He didn't. He gave my opponent an extra card, which is fine. If my opponent had not put all the eggs in one basket twice, the mech would have been dead. So I'm gonna go ahead and call myself the MVP of this 
take down, but I think we should get it. He keeps on assassinating minions that threaten him, and if he's assassinating the minions, he's just stuck in an endless loop, because we're always going to keep drawing more minions, unless, of course, we fatigue out. But these recruits should get the job done eventually. Why would he do that? I don't need any more healing. He's the one that needs the healing. Okay, looks like, um... Looks like... Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. We're going to lose this. Oh, shit. He should have really did the, the, done the Holy Light on himself, because if Mechazod then does a double attack, um, he would have killed him. Luckily, I top-decked direct damage, which there must not be that much of in the deck. And we got him. You or your opponent do not meet the rating requirements to earn gold. Uh, I don't know, but I satisfied my daily quest, so that's all good. Alright, so my opponent misplayed a little bit. Maybe I misplayed some ways as well, but that was the brawl for this week, so definitely try it out. Again, it's my favorite brawl of all time. Maybe not one that you want to like play over and over again, but... So I guess on that metric, it's not the best, but I think just for pure fun had overall, that's the one for me. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.